Hey everyone, so I went to Starbucks this morning and um, I had 100 points, which means 50 points gives you a free hot coffee, tea, a Danish, or a scone. So I was like, it's summer. I don't want anything hot. But I did decide to get a scone and a Danish because they were expiring in August. So I was like, I better use them now, I'll get iced coffee. And while I'm standing there, um, this, and the reason why I'm bringing up race, and usually I wouldn't, but he had fear in his eyes, and I feel bad. But this black guy was standing in front of me, and he turned around and stared at me, and he looked like he was in fear. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm not like all the other white people. And I felt so bad. I felt so guilty. And and when he looked at me, I said, hey, man, how's it going? I go, I go it's all good, man. Take your time. Because he was like looking for change in his pockets because he was paying with quarters. Because there's a coin shortage. So people are paying with quarters lately. So I was like, hey, man, don't worry about it. I go, I got nothing to do. Just take your time. It's all good. And he goes, he goes, thanks, man. And I just, it just, it bothers me so much that just because I'm a white person, that I'm, it's, it's really disconcerting to me how just because I'm a white person and I have no hatred or anything towards someone else with a different skin tone than me, and yet he is afraid because I'm a huge white guy standing behind him. I don't care what your race is. I, I don't care. And you know what? I don't blame black people for having anxiety towards white people for what the injustice that they've received from police, from um, legislators, from politicians. It's unfathomable. And it's it's inquintessential. It's awful. It, it's so disgusting that the way they are treated. I don't blame him for having anxiety. I mean, hell, when I stand behind a cop at a coffee shop or something, I have severe anxiety. And we're two white guys. Like, <laughs> I even have anxiety. So um, I, I, I don't blame black people for having an, an abundance of fear towards white people. I don't. And, you know, I, I feel bad for them. I, I, it sucks because it's like, you know, I have no ill will towards anyone and it, you know, I don't have any hatred towards anyone. And it's, I mean, if, if someone, and you know, in my mind, I always have thoughts like, what if someone says something racist right now? Or what if some Karen goes crazy right now? Then I would have to be the bigger person and defend that person. I get dreams about it all the time. I have, a, I have dreams about black people ordering something and some crazy white lady <laughs> goes nuts, a Karen, and goes nuts on them. And I would be defensive and go up to their face and be like, hey, what are you doing? Leave him alone. He's just ordering. What, what's your problem? You know, like leave, leave this guy alone. Just because he's a different color than you doesn't mean he's the same. We all bleed the same color, you idiot. Like I, I just uh, we all come from a descendant's of African Americans anyway. Like people are stupid. Like we're all from star stuff, man. We we all come from stars. You know, I don't think people realize that. We all come we're all star stuff, you know, like what Carl Sagan used to say. We're all one. It's it's insane. It's insanity. You know, we all come from descendants of Africa some way or another. I mean, we're all related some one way or another, all the specimens and organisms on this planet, all the different insects, all the different, I mean, we all have DNA, every single one of us, plants, everything. So in a way, we're all somehow related to each other. We're all a distant relative to something. So it's insanity to me that people would have racism or hatred or anything because it's just stupid. We're all on this planet together. 
like Hillary Clinton once said, it takes a village to raise a child, and that's absolutely true. It takes more than just your mom and your dad to raise you. It takes everything to build someone up and their character. So anyway, I just wanted to leave with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, white people, you got to do more. Seriously, do more for black people. This is ridiculous. I feel bad for that guy. I'm glad that I spoke up and said, hey, man, take your time. It's all good. You know, I'm glad that I said something. But just to help his anxiety. But it's just, I feel bad for black people. I really do. This is ridiculous. They shouldn't have to be in fear just because they're standing in line because there's a white person behind them. I mean, that's insane. It shouldn't be like this. I just wanted to say that.